Someone is busy posting on the Instagram. What are you posting? Chilling oh yeah, on Santorini Island. Chilling, chilling yeah. out. Yeah. You're chilling, really? Yeah. Yeah, after the gym, obviously. <laughs> chilling and eating. <laughs> Stuffing your face with cake and lemon pie. <laughs> Outfit of the day, I'm looking like a nice little tangerine lollipop. I love a pop of color to work out and I'm on a holiday so you know what I don't care as long as the colors are more or less matching it doesn't bother me if you're lazy you can always go up or down with a donkey but that's not really the option we're picking I feel a bit sorry for them they seem Pretty bored. Hey. Yeah. Probably waiting here in the sun, being super hot and bored out of their heads. So the first boat is out and we're waiting for a second boat to come and pick us up because it's very crowded due to the fireworks on the volcano. This white boat must be our boat. She's coming. Today is Sunday and I just wanted to give you a brief recap of what happened last night. So basically the cruise was nice and if you are visiting Santorini I really highly recommend doing the tour of the crater and seeing the active volcano. We had a tour guide, it was a um, 30 minute walk roughly on the volcano so highly recommend this. And the sunset in Oya was really stunning, the sun was like pink. So I've never seen such a sunset before 
This was really impressive and with regards to hot springs, I'm very happy I didn't go because I heard some people say that it was a little bit warmer than the sea temperature but just a little bit. So for example the sea was 22 degrees warm and the hot springs were 24 degrees. So basically not so many people went to the hot springs and the ones who did were then freezing on the boat. And what happened is that we had the sunset and between the sunset and the fireworks we didn't know there would be almost two hours of waiting and the sea was extremely choppy, the wind was very strong and everybody was freezing to death. People were just packed in the little cabin and we stayed outside for as long as we could. And don't get me wrong, I mean, we were equipped, we had long sleeves on, we had a windbreaker on, I had a scarf and a full length pair of trousers, but nevertheless, we were really, really cold and eventually everybody was like this and just waiting and shaking, not really knowing what was going on and when the fireworks would take place. So nobody was really <laughs> enjoying themselves on the boat and well, um, then I was so cold I went to the cabin and someone from the staff started smoking in the cabin. <laughs> so between two evils I would choose freezing rather than inhaling some smoke. But then the fireworks were about to start and Francis got very sick because the boat had been maneuvering and just moving a bit back and forth for two hours. So he got really, really sick and a lot of people were not feeling well. I'm surprised not more people were as sick as he was. So basically I filmed just a little fraction of the fireworks. I was just standing by his side. It's frustrating um, when someone is feeling so unwell and you can't do much, just stand by their side and let them know you're here for them, but that's pretty much all you can do, you know. So yeah, that's maybe the low light of what happened last night. But the fireworks, from what I've seen, were very nice. They lasted for 15 to 20 minutes. And it was really nicely done. So basically you have a crater, a real crater of a volcano. And they had some pink and red lava or simulation of lava flowing down the volcano. And then on top of it, the fireworks were mimicking an eruption. So this was really, really nicely done. If you are coming to Santorini by the end of September, I highly, highly recommend watching the fireworks, maybe from the island on solid ground where you won't be sick, or maybe take the boat, but uh, be prepared for a lot of waiting, a lot of freezing AF, and maybe take a skin jacket with you, I don't know, whatever works for you. Anyways, today is a day off because the gym is closed, and I ended up having fever and shivers last night, so not feeling super well but well managed. We are going to a prehistorical site called Akrotiri, I believe, and then we'll be visiting White Beach and Black Beach because we are in the area and of course I will show you around. White Beach, probably not accessible from here, probably only from the sea, taking a boat. And the sun is black, but of course the rock formations are white, hence the name White Beach. And here we are in Black Beach. As you can see, pretty obvious.
everyone and welcome back today's Monday we still have three full days here in Santorini living on Thursday morning I've just come back from the gym so I thought I would quickly show you what we did yesterday for a quick shop at Lidl so I was speaking with someone else the other day and I said it's great we are lunching very early so we have time to go to the room and check in and do some grocery shopping and the, the lady said do what grocery shopping really that's not a holiday but as much as I enjoy eating out I mean I don't enjoy myself eating at the restaurant for breakfast lunch and dinner sometimes I love to have as much tomato or spinach as I want in my salad and I truly generally enjoy my healthy lifestyle so even if I didn't have issues with my microbiome or food allergies and intolerances I would still be happy to do some grocery shopping when on a holiday, so I'm going to be very down to earth and show you what we got. I would probably start with protein sources. So this is already opened, but I got some parmigiano or parmesan cheese. It's also rich in fat, but very rich in calories as well. It's a great vegetarian source of proteins. I also got some mozzarella because I'm also very aware of my carbon footprint and trying to reduce animal protein sources so parmigiano and mozzarella this is some smoked cheese probably something local I love to try local cheeses I have to have lactose free cheeses this is why I don't have feta cheese or goat cheese otherwise you could be sure I would have this in my pantry I love trying different foods that are typical to a region where I'm traveling. I also got some Greek fish and I haven't <laughs> translated that yet to be honest so it's some sort of white fish but I have no idea what that fish is called and Sparus arata. <laughs> I'm not specialized in fish so I would have to check this out. So some fish, obviously some salmon and some chicken breast. I think this is pretty it for proteins. As mentioned, I cannot have lactose, so I have to give up on Greek yogurt this week. So that's it for proteins. And I also got some no added sugar coconut milk and unsweetened roasted almond milk. And Last but not least, in terms of proteins, eggs. I really do love my eggs and I jelly free range and or organic. I got myself some lemons as well. I love a squash lemon or just cooking a lot with lemons with olive oil, salt and pepper of course here. We have the biggest peaches ever. I doubt they are organic but they are absolutely yummy humongous it's like two in one but lovely super ripe peaches we got some organic apples some local greek grapes and that's about it for fruit again this is a greek onion i suppose look at the size of it compared to my head <laughs> quite big I can stuff my face with onion, some organic tomatoes and these mini organic courgettes or zucchini. I was looking for real stevia and I got trapped because this one says made from stevia leaves, from Greek stevia leaves 
and I was hoping this was the real kind of stevia that's not made in the lab, no stevia glycosides and I opened the package and as soon as I took one of these out I see in the ingredients erythritol. So erythritol is a sugar, alcohol sugar, so I cannot have it. It's not gut friendly and it's actually stevia glycosides and erythritol, so it's not the real organic stevia that will have a um, licorice or slightly bitter, slightly bitter aftertaste. So I bought this stevia thinking this was the real deal and unfortunately it's not. This is not for me, it's for Francis. I wish I could have them but hazelnut cream center cookies and really Francis. <laughs> He's the one filming this video right now and just looking at them, he's smiling. <laughs> we just went to a gym, maybe he's starving, but he's really smiling. So, you know, it's like a baby, you say cookies and he's got a big smile on his face. So they must be absolutely yummy. And apparently Greek chocolate is amazing. He says there's some chocolate croissants and pastries here at the hotel for breakfast. And apparently the chocolate is yummy. So from Swiss people saying that Greek chocolate is good, it must be really good. This is another find that got inspired from our first meal at the restaurant. It looks like rice, but it's actually, they say, 100% Greek German wheat. So it's like rice that has a taste of pasta. It's a bit thicker grains of rice, so to speak, but it's actually pasta, or apparently the taste is a bit like pasta. So this is what my mind is bringing back home. So yeah, 1.2 kg should last for a few weeks, hopefully. <laughs> and another little dirty treat. No, that's okay. It's tahini. And just another example, don't believe everything that's on the labels or read the labels carefully because you see tahini and you see stevia. So you think, oh, amazing, tahini sweetened with stevia. And if I look at the ingredients, it says tahini, ground sesame, but the second ingredient is maltodextrin and then you have polydextrose which is another sugar sweeteners, maltitol again an alcohol sugar, sucralose so sucralose is the crappy aspartame or sweetener and then you have cereal glycosides and vegetable oils that have nothing to do in this, especially not palm oil and soy lecithin as an emulsifier so again it looks very good on the front of the package, but if you look really close to the ingredient list, stevia is one of the last ingredients. So that's it, just showing you that you can be on a holiday and jolly or shop and still enjoy yourself and stay healthy on the go, enjoy a few treats here and there, but really enjoy the local fresh produce and fish and eggs and fruit and veggies that they have here in Greece in Santorini. We just went to the gym, as just mentioned. The gym was really, really packed because it was closed yesterday, so we didn't film anything. I just trained legs. And we are going to a beach and visit Sarah today. I will take you with us. This is Camaro Beach, and we are now in the ancient city of Thera. Gorgeous view on the caldera. It's been a very hilly climb with lots of loops but we drove we don't walk <laughs> are you tired from walking uphill yes of course <laughs> and this is Parisa with an overview of the black beach so we are going uphill to visit the ancient city of Thera and we have a lot of stairs. I was just joking and saying holiday every day is a leg day with so much walking. Dream house? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of painting. 
And it will be okay. <laughs> The beach. It looks like sand from the top, but it's actually very tiny black pebbles. Right now, I don't really need this, but when it's 40 degrees, I can imagine this is a saver not to burn your feet. Letting my man test the water for me. It looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> it must be cold. I bet you he's coming to pick me up. He always says he swims like a pebble, but he's swimming fine. Until now. <laughs> des mers là-bas derrière pressé de sortir l'eau elle doit être à 23 degrés à peu près Limas. <laughs> He's calling me a sloth. <laughs> sloth life, that's fine. 